Hi everyone, welcome to Midwestern Front. So today I figured I would do a tutorial for you guys. This is my first. This one is actually for Minx Nails. So these were about $12 and again you can get them at Sephora. And then you'll need a cuticle pusher and you need the one that's got like the plastic tip on it. Um, you can't use the one that's metal because it'll scratch up the foil too much. And then you need an old-fashioned uh, crystal nail file so that once you are finished with it, you can kind of file off uh, the excess wherever it overlaps. So, um, in essence, it's even a little bit simpler than doing nail polish, in my opinion. And the first thing that you want to do is to measure up so that you can get kind of a clear indication of which size you want to put on which nail. And when you're doing so, you want to really pay attention to the nail bed. You simply peel it back very easily. And then what I'm going to do is actually apply it to the end of my cuticle pusher, just because I feel like I have a little bit more control over it this way. So I've attached it here. And then you're supposed to rub it for heat, but I actually picked this up from some of the professional YouTube videos that you can kind of put it next to a lamp to warm it up so it's a little more pliable. Okay, now that we have it nice and warm, what I'm going to do is very carefully to measure it up and make sure it's centered, measure it to my nail bed, and then apply it. So the good thing about these is that if you uh, apply it to the wrong area, you can still lift it. So now I have it applied to the nail and I'm going to take this and take the rubber in and basically smooth down the side. And one thing that I'm doing is making sure that it's uh, specifically lined up in the nail bed. That's the most important area. That's where people are going to be able to, I guess, see a little bit more clearly uh, whether or not you have a DIY job or uh, if it's something a little more professional. And so we're just simply going to take it and smooth it. And we're going to pay close attention to do the nail bed first. And then work our way up. And as you're working your way up, you want to make sure that you're getting the sides as well. So it's really, really easy. So I'm basically just kind of patting, making sure that it's smooth on the side. And then I'm going to make sure that it's attached at the top tip. And then once you get it so that it's placed really where you want it, then you can go ahead and really give it kind of a firm going over just to make sure that it's well attached. And then I'm going to actually bend it over. To make sure that I have it all the way to the edge of my actual nail. So there you go. Okay, now that we have it all the way attached, what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to actually kind of fold it over at the edge so that we can make our cut. So I've simply taken it and folded it over, folded it kind of in half, and then wrapped it over so that I can get a clear idea as to where I want to make my cut. And then I'm going to take my tiny nail scissors and I'm going to cut this a little high at first so that you can see it. I cut like half of it off and then I'm going to cut it all the way down so that I'm ready to start filing it. Okay, so now I've cut it all the way down so I'm ready to start filing it and yes, it has a very rough edge to it but you really don't have to worry about that because 
you're going to file it, buff it like you would um, any other nail. So that brings us to the next step. So the next step you're going to need a metal or crystallized nail file so that you can start to remove some of the loose edges. And when you're filing this, you want to go in a downward motion. So I'm filing it now in a downward motion. Not up and down, downward motion. Because you want it all going in the same direction. Okay, so now as I start filing, now it's starting to kind of detach and I just simply put the file under the nail and pull it down and then I got the excess that was left on. Okay, so we're almost finished. It's still a little bit rough on the edges, so I'm going to continue to just file down a little bit and some of it is actually filing my, um, my actual nail. But I really want to have a nice clean edge so I can have the most professional look possible. And then you really want to be careful to clean up if you have any edge from where you folded it over. You want to be careful to clean that up. Now I'm going to turn it to the side so that you can see a little bit better. But if you notice, I'm still doing a backward motion. So I'm filing backwards. And there you have it. So again, it is uh, pretty easy to do. You're just going to basically repeat the process. So I'm going to warm the applique. And then I'm going to center it so that I get the bed of my nail. And then smooth. I'm going to go up the middle first pat down the edges around the bed of my nail. I'm going to fold it over in half and then over the top of the nail like so. Then I'm going to make my cut. So you want to make sure that it's folded over the front. Any rough edges. So I'm going to start filing and I'm filing down. And then when it's ready to come out, you can just lift it right from under there. It comes out really easily. I am a little bit of a perfectionist where these things are concerned. Not with the hair, clearly, but uh, where these things are concerned, I can be pretty detailed. Okay, so this is the finished product. All in all, I would say that I came out with a fairly good result. I'm really excited about them. I'm ready to wear them for the weekend. What I'll do is put some pictures up on my blog so that you can get a close-up. I'm going to try to give you a closer view here so that you can see what it looks like. Hopefully that's working for you. Um, but if not, certainly check out my blog, which is midwesternfront.com, and I will give you some step-by-step -step tips on there as well to accompany the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. The button's right above. Leave me some comments below if you have any suggestions and tips that you want to share with my subscribers. Thanks again, and I will see you soon.